Bay Houseman's a Shropshire Lad. In March 1921, Houseman's publisher recorded that the poet would allow Mr. Ireland to set all the songs he wishes, but he must not print number 40 as a motto. Houseman was notoriously insensitive to composers and strongly opposed any quotations of his poems in other sources. Strangely enough, he raised no objection when Ireland actually chose his title from number 40, which runs, Into my heart an air that kills from yon far country blows. What are those blue remembered hills? What spires, what farms are those? That is the land of lost content. I see a shining plain, the happy highways where I went and cannot come again. The poems which Ireland chose to set all reflect this feeling of loss or nostalgia. The first song is The Lent Lily, and this title is Houseman's, whereas the rest of them are Ireland's. The second song is Lad's Love. Now here are Anthony Roden and Geoffrey Parsons.
Next, Goal and Wicket, and The Vain Desire. The last two songs in this cycle by Ireland are The Encounter and Epilogue.
and of Lost Content by Ireland. It was sung by Anthony Roden with Geoffrey Parsons. We're going to hear next the six Holderlin Fragmenta by Britain. Holderlin was born in the same year as Beethoven, 1770. He had a period of mature production lasting only six years before insanity overtook him. But to quote the modern critic Michael Hamburger, the development in his poetry between 1797 and 1803 in many ways prefigures the development of all European poetry in the next century and a half. Goethe said of Schiller that he was greater than other writers even when he was cutting his fingernails. But Schiller was worldly and prosaic compared to Hölderlin, who lived by the imagination and perished by it. Britain wrote this cycle for the 50th birthday of Prince Ludwig of Hesse. It's a setting of fragments of verse that Hölderlin wrote at the time when his mind was beginning to give way. In the first song, Hölderlin tells how, since he knows what life is, he's become a better person and a better, simpler poet. The price he's paid is that what he has to say is no longer welcome or even understood. In the next song, the theme of lost youth appears. The fisherman sails home, successful from his long voyage. But what of me? How can I return home? I have reaped nothing but suffering. And if I did return, would I find peace in the forests of my childhood? Six Hölderlin Fragmenta are sung now by Anthony Roden with Geoffrey Parsons.
In the third song of Britain's Hölderlin Fragmente, art and nature again clash. Socrates is asked why he, of all people, should apparently worship the worthless young Alcibiades. He replies, the wise often end by bowing down before beauty and pure vitality. Then we hear of Hölderlin's childhood, when he led a charmed life amid nature. In the fifth song, Midway Through Life, Hölderlin goes on to contrast the rich landscape around and behind him with a barren winter that lies ahead. The final song is from his years of outwardly placid madness. There are many and varied lines in our lives. Whatever we are, here, can, by divine dispensation, find completion and harmony elsewhere.
quilter.
fifth song in this cycle by Quilter is Julia's Hair. Then a short piano interlude introduces Cherry Ripe. Leaves that lay on 
That cycle by Quilter to Julia, opposite, was sung by Anthony Roden with Geoffrey Parsons. It brings...